Hey everyone, it's Brittany with Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge, and we have a really fun activity planned for you today. We are gonna be learning all about creepy crawly spiders today. So spiders are actually pretty cool. There are over 40,000 species of spiders in the world, and they are found on every continent except Antarctica. Now, a lot of people get spiders confused as insects. They're actually arachnids, um, and some other species that uh, are also in the arachnids is um, scorpions and ticks. Uh, the difference between the spiders being an arachnid versus an insect is the number of legs. Spiders have eight, whereas insects have six. Uh, spiders also don't have antenna like your insects do. And um, so that's some differences between them. Now, spiders are extremely important for our ecosystem. They're very beneficial. They eat a lot of insects, tons of them. And um, this helps keep the insect population controlled. And it's also beneficial for anyone that gardens because they're gonna eat a lot of those pesky insects that try to harm your vegetables and plants. So they're really good to have around. So don't go and kill that spider that's in your garden. They're helping you out actually. Now, uh, spiders are pretty cool. They create really cool webs using something called silk. Now this silk that they produce is actually inside their body and it's actually a liquid state when it's in its body. And when it comes in contact with air as it comes out of its body, it becomes a solid. Now silk, you wouldn't think of as extremely strong, but it is. If you took a comparison of steel that was the same size and length as a strand of silk, spider silk, you would find that that spider silk is stronger than steel. Pretty incredible, huh? Well. They create, they use that silk for all kinds of things. They use it for webs, which will catch prey. Uh, they'll use it uh, to protect uh, their eggs, egg sacs. They'll use it um, when they're creating their webs. It can be sticky or non-sticky. And that sticky part is actually pretty flexible. That way when a bug runs into it, it can flex in and the sticky stuff has time to wrap around that insect and hold it tight and not let it go. And then there's the non-sticky stuff, which is support for the web. Uh, they will use their silk for transportation. Um, if you've ever seen a floating strand of silk with a spider at the end of it, um, that's something called ballooning, and that's how they transport. Another cool thing that they can use with their silk, they can use it as a submarine. There are some spiders that swim and stay underwater all the time. And so they use their silk to create a submarine. But I have found me a spider web today and we're gonna show you a really cool thing you can do with an abandoned one, that's the key. Don't use it if there's a spider there using that web. Only use a spider web if it's abandoned. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in on this and we're gonna take a look at how to do this. All right, everyone, so here is the spider web that I found. And this is more of an orb spider web. Uh, it is not a complete one because it's old and abandoned, so this would technically be considered a cobweb. Um, but this is an orb, uh, which is your typical shape that you think of when you think of a spider web. There's other shapes that the webs can come in. There's like the funnel. Um, spider web, which is exactly what you would think. It's got a big opening that leads to a small opening uh, that will funnel the insect into right where the spider is. Uh, then there's your sheet spider webs, and you see a lot of those low on the ground, not on the ground, just slightly above it. Uh, but what we're gonna do, all you're gonna need is some um, spray paint, hairspray, and a white piece of paper. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray paint this web and then you're going to gently and very carefully push your piece of paper up against the spider web to put it on the paper okay so i spray painted it and then i carefully pushed this piece of paper up against it and then i immediately sprayed it with hairspray to keep it from blowing and flying away so this is a really fun craft and activity and I hope you enjoy it and good luck on your scavenger hunt to find yourself a spider web. Again, make sure it's an empty spider web that there's no spider using it. So enjoy and have fun. I will see you tomorrow for the next daily activity. Bye everyone.